Okay, so in uh, this video, we're going to discuss the uh, bifurcation involvement uh, in the multi teeth. Bifurcation and the trifurcation involvement in the multi teeth. Uh, before we start, uh, uh, in order to judge whether or not the uh, bifurcation area is involved, we have to trace the uh, a, a alveolar bone. Uh, in order to have uh, the um, uh, bifurcation on both, you have to have bone loss, whether it is a vertical bone loss or a horizontal bone loss, that goes with or below the level of the uh, bifurcation area. Uh, uh, in this radiograph, for instance, you see that the area here that is blinking in yellow, you can see that in the lower second molar, the level of bone has gone uh, below the bifurcation area of the tooth. What characterizes this area, or what's ma what makes it, what's, uh, what, what makes it um, uh, radiographically uh, det um, uh, traceable, is that you will see a radiolucency that is located exactly below the bifurcation area. Exactly below the bifurcation area, as you can see in this uh, radiograph. Mind you, in this lower six, that the bo uh, lower seven, sorry, the bone has gone uh, 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 horizontally, horizontally, which indicates a chronic type of periodontal disease uh, or chronic type of periodontal. Uh, uh, bone loss, you, uh, you can see that the radiolucency that has started uh, be, uh, at the, uh, 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 just below the uh, bifurcation area. Uh, the tooth which is the, uh, mesial to it, that is the lower six, you can see that the bifurcation area is still intact, uh, uh, which means that you cannot trace a uh, uh, radiolucency that is at the bifurcation area. If you if you have a look at uh, <coughs> excuse me at this area, which is the bifurcation of the uh, of the uh, lower six, you will see that the uh, bifurcation area you cannot de detect a radiolucency uh, here, which means that this is still area at this time of this radiograph that that the radiograph uh, radiograph was taken uh, uh, is still intact we cannot tell <coughs> whether uh, in, 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 in a few days this weeks or months depends on the activity of the radiographic uh, of the um, uh, of the periodontal disease what, that this area will be affected or not uh, of course, you can see here calculus deposits um, uh, on uh, on all surfaces of, uh, on mesial and distal surfaces of the six, on the mesial and the distal surface of the seven, as well as there is a cemental caries uh, uh, in the in the lower uh, seven. Now, if you look at this radiograph, which is another uh, periapical radiograph that shows the seven and the lower seven and the lower uh, uh, sorry the lower six and the lower seven you will see that in this radiograph there is a uh, uh, a more advanced uh, uh, type of bifurcation involvement as you can see here in the lower six the there is a marked radiolucent area that is located exactly just below the bifurcation area of the tooth and uh, the, um, uh, the, 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 the bone loss has gone around three millimeters below the bifurcation area. Uh, if, you, if you shift uh, your eyes to see the area uh, in the bifurcation area of the lower uh, seven, you will see that the bifurcation involvement here is even more, that it, which is measured, which is judged by the increased distance from the a bifurcation area downwards and uh, 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 the uh, there is even uh, I mean if, if you if you look at the radiograph on both radiographs you will see that the type of bifurcation involvement in the lower six uh, is less aggressive than that on the uh, bifurcation area of the seven 
how do we judge this? We judge this by the type of the or the quality of the bone at the at the at the crest. In the area in the bifurcation under in the lower six, you will see that the crystal bone still maintains its homogeneity. There is no pitting, there is no irregularity. However, it is resolved in a horizontal direction. It means that this is a, a, um, um, a chronic type of process that is going on. But if you look at the area of the bifurcation of the lower seven, you will see that the situation is uh, different. The bone does not uh, uh, maintain the crest, I mean, uh, uh, does not maintain its uh, regular and homogeneous form, at least radiographically, it tends to be more pitted, more, uh, 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 it, uh, it's not smooth as that of the six, which means that the process which is going in here is a, 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 a fast, a acute type of a lesion that is taking place. <clears throat> To the both teeth, uh, 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 you can see uh, that on the mesial of the seven, uh, there is calculus, and uh, uh, also there is a trace of calculus on the lower six. So this radiograph, st uh, radiograph tells us the difference between or the amount of bone resorption in the bifurcation areas and the type of bone uh, 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 quality, which indicates or reflects the uh, uh, the uh, the the uh, uh, acute versus chronic status of the periodontal uh, uh, disease that is going or taking place that's going on or taking place in the in the uh, in the area.